y'all can come a little bit closer if you want to be able to hear and see. Affairs and the cemetery staff, I'd like to extend my condolences to the friends and family gathered here today. At this time, we shall begin with military honors. At this time, if you are able to, and only if you are able, would you please stand and help us honor the veterans? If you are active duty or retired military, you may render a salute. All others may place their hands over their hearts and like the pledge of allegiance.
behalf of the President of the United States, the United States Army, and a grateful nation, please accept this flag as a symbol of our appreciation for your loved one's honorable and faithful service. Thank you, sir. God bless you. Today we've gathered to celebrate the life and long to see Brother Larry Metton again. Brother Larry went home to be with the Lord on December 17th. Born in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. Lived in Jacksonville from age 17. Retired from Duval County School Board in 2018 where he's a maintenance carpenter. Brother Larry served in the U.S. Army during the Vietnam era. Preceded in death by his parents, Joseph Dennis, Marguerite Metton, and his brother, John Metton. Leaves to cherish his memory, his wife of 19 years, Miss Debbie, son Larry Joe Minton Jr. of Jacksonville, three grandchildren, Kenzie and Jordan Minton, Ethan and Ethan Tipton, great grandchild Carter, Donovan Minton, his brother Philip Minton of Jacksonville, and his sister Judy Golden of Seymour, Tennessee, and many other family and friends. We're grateful for his service to our nation. We're grateful for his friendship. We're grateful for his life. I chose today for my passage, John chapter 14, which is very familiar. It says, Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. If I go to prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there you may be also. Today's not a day for trouble. It's a day of, of grief, it's a day of sorrow, but as I told Miss Debbie, for those that know the Lord, we sorrow not as others which have no hope. If you face a day like today and you don't know Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, there is no hope. There's no hope without Jesus. But by knowing Jesus Christ, there is a hope uh, beyond this life. Today's not a day for trouble, but it's a day for memories. It's a day that we remember and we honor a, a faithful man a faithful husband, a faithful father, a faithful grandfather, a faithful church member. Uh, Miss Debbie's looked at me a few times. She said, that's a good man. And he is. He is. I'm going to talk about that just a little bit more in a minute. But faithful member of our church for just over 12 years. Seems longer than that. Seems like I've known Brother Larry for a long, long, long time. He is a friend to everybody that knew him. Uh, he'd help anybody he could. Always had a smile, a handshake, something encouraging to say. I don't know that I ever was going to be going out of town, whether it was a missions trip or whether it was maybe going to see family out of town or whatever happened, that Brother Larry was anywhere close by. He'd start telling me I need to be careful in the drove, you know, and things like that. Just, to, you know, kind of saying, you be careful on the road, and you can almost hear him say it. And uh, he was just an encourager. He had a testimony of being genuine and real. He's real. What you see is what you got. What you saw at church, what you saw at home, what you saw at work. And that was Brother Larry. So today is not a day that our hearts should be troubled. We grieve, but we sorrow not as others which have no hope. We grieve, but let not your heart be troubled. It's also a day for faith. The rest that the verse goes on to say, after your heart's not troubled. You believe in God. Believe also in me. D.L. Moody said, The thought of heaven has cheered the soul of many believers. Some say that we are fools to believe in heaven, but to not deny heaven is to deny Jesus, for he came from heaven. It is to place our departed loved ones in the cold, dark grave. It is to deprive millions of Christians of the greatest hope they have if you don't believe in heaven. And today is a day for faith. Today... I'll state for the record, I'll stand here at a, a place where many have been laid to rest and tell you, I believe that there's a heaven for those that have called on Christ. I believe in heaven. Uh, I, 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 Jesus spoke of his Father's house. Brother Larry is absent from the body and present with the Lord. I don't know who said this, but it's true. God never sees his children die. He simply sees them coming home. God doesn't look at death. And Brother Larry was passing death to life. 
when he trusted Christ as his Savior. It's appointed unto men once to die, and after this the judgment. Appointed unto men once. It's, it's interested me for some time in studying that, that the Bible clearly tells us that death is appointed once, but then you get over the book of Revelation. The book of Revelation talks about a second death. It's only appointed once. You say, preacher, why is there a second one? Second death belongs to those that do not know Jesus Christ as their personal Savior. And you find that in the book of Revelation. I said a moment ago that Brother Larry was a good man. And he is. He's got a, he has a great testimony. You say, you said that present tense. His testimony is not going away. And, and, and Brother Larry's with the Lord. He still exists, just not with us. But he wasn't good enough to go to heaven on his own. Doesn't matter how good we think we are, the Bible tells us there's none righteous, no, not one. Romans, the same chapter, verse 23, the same chapter says, For all, I'm in that all, you're in that all. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. You say, Preacher, I'm not that bad. Yes, you are. Me too. Brother Larry too. Every one of us, no matter how good we are in man's eyes, we needed a Savior. By the way, that's why we have Christmas. That's why we celebrate this week as God came from heaven, was born in a manger, because we weren't good enough to save ourselves. And Brother Larry wasn't good enough. He had fallen short. And you know what? There was a day that Brother Larry gave his life to Jesus Christ. Brother Larry had a testimony that Jesus Christ was his Savior. So through our eyes, he's good. And through God's eyes, he is too through Jesus. One of the greatest verses, you can quote the first one I'm going to read, most likely. It says, For God so loved the world, John 3, 16, that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. What's interesting, the verse right after that, a lot of times we don't learn that verse. But don't you hear the purpose? Because we know God loved the world so much he gave his only begotten Son. But the next verse says, For God sent not his Son into the world, to condemn the world. God didn't, God's purpose was not to condemn us, but that the world through him might be saved. There's no greater day. If you are, I'm, I'm sure most here are family. You're a family member today and you've never given your life to Christ. There's not a better day than today to say, you know what, I'm going to give up and I'm going to ask Jesus to save me. I'm, I'm going to call on the Lord. You say, preacher, why would I do that? Well, number one, you want to go to heaven. Uh, let me give you a fact. It doesn't matter who's here today. But everybody here, you don't have to go to heaven. And you don't have to go to hell, but both places exist. But let me tell you what you can't do. You can't stay here. And if there's ever a day that that's evident, it's a day like today. And what you do with Jesus Christ will determine where you spend eternity. You know... I'm going to miss Brother Larry. We all will. But it's really not goodbye. Because I know Christ is my Savior. There's coming a day, don't he, that all of us will be in heaven together. So it's just good night, brother. I'll see you in the morning. But if you don't know the Lord, it's goodbye. Because the only way you see Brother Larry again, most of all, the only way you'll ever see Jesus is to give your life to Jesus Christ. You say, preacher, is it really that simple? Yes, only because Jesus paid it all. So if you've not trusted Christ today, I, I pray that you would. If you do know the Lord, I pray that you'd live for the Lord and be an encourager like Brother Larry was. Have a smile on your face. Be faithful to church like Brother Larry was. Uh, I mean, you don't know how many comments we've had from our church folks that said they're going to miss him at the door. They're going to miss his handshake. They're going to miss his smile. All those things are true. Have a testimony like that if you know the Lord. But have, have peace to know that everything's okay. Years ago, there's a little boy on a train. We don't ride trains much anymore. There's a little boy on a train, and, you know, back then, they didn't have air conditioning. It's just a long trip. This little boy was on the train. They had a sign on him, unattended. That used to be quite normal. He was going, going to see somebody or going somewhere, and, He's on the train. He just sat there and was well behaved. And an older lady looked over at him and, and said, uh, Son, aren't you tired of the long ride? 
aren't you tired of the long ride? And the little boy looked up and said, yes, ma'am, a little. But I don't mind so much because my father's going to meet me when I get to the end of it. We don't know when the ride ends, but if you know Jesus as your personal Savior, you know you're going to meet the Father when you get to the end of it. Last Thursday, Brother Larry ended the ride here, but he's not in. Today, he's with Jesus. If you don't know the Lord today, I pray you ask the Lord to save you. Let's bow and pray. You know, just as we pray, even where you're at right now, it's not a game. It's a reality. The question would be, today, where will you spend eternity? Do you know the Lord? Right where you are, you can say, Jesus, an old sinner, I believe you died for me, and I ask you to save me. Lord, save you right now. If you know the Lord, ask the Lord to help you live for him. Let's pray. Father in heaven, thank you so much for the life of Brother Larry Minton. Thank you so much for the encouragement that he always gave we pray, Lord, that you would help this family and give them comfort. We pray that you would uh, help Miss Debbie in the days ahead as only you can. Help his son, help all the other family, and God do that. And Lord, help us to live lives we should. Lord, if there's somebody here today that doesn't know you, I pray today they trust you and give you their life. Those that know you, I pray we'd live for you. Lord, help us to leave the cemetery today looking for you because we know at any moment you can descend from heaven with a shout and you'll take your church on any second. Lord, help us to be ready for that. Thank you again for the life of the layer In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Folks, this will conclude the service. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you.